Hello everybody and welcome to another Brain Bomb with Yomi Tree. In our brain bombs we're trying to link our breathing, our mind or our brain and our body all together to make it work better. And today's Brain Bomb is an energizer and it's all about getting your body ready for learning or ready for being focused on something um, and bringing your mind, bringing your mind onto a job. Okay, so let's see if we can first of all stand tall and we're going to use three animals in our Energizer Brain Bomb. We're going to be a giraffe to begin with. So if you bring your feet quite close together um, and you can do this anywhere if you're working in your kitchen trying to do some home learning this is a great place to do it. If your brain stops working pause, have a brain bomb and get back onto the job. So we can just stand up wherever we are um, and we just need a bit of space around us. So feet together, fairly close together and uh, stretch your hands. I'm going to put my hands together and point my fingers and stretch all the way up to the ceiling but then can I go up onto my tiptoes so I'm doing a balance. If you're wobbling just try to look at one thing and focus or just pop back down again and see so your fingers are as tall as they can be you're pushing them right up to the ceiling and up on your tiptoes and how long can we balance here let's aim for five one two three four five did you do it well done if you didn't if not just practice see if you can do it for ten if you work up to it. Okay, so that was our giraffe, the first part of our brain ball. The second part, we're going to be a gorilla. So we're going to see um, if we can do a forward bend. And in a forward bend, our feet are just a little bit apart. So I'll show you just a little bit apart for a better balance. But I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my legs stay long and straight and my bottom stays where it is. I'm not going to bend it down or move it. I'm going to try and keep my bottom fixed. But the top part of my body is going to start to fold forwards. Can you see how I'm trying to keep my back straight? So I'm folding forwards, folding forwards. I can stay here and make like a sort of a, um, a triangle shape in my body or a right angle here, look like this. And I can just rest my hands here on my legs. Gently, don't push onto your knees. But then I can go all the way. If you dangle your arms down now, like you imagine you're a gorilla swinging your arms, but then can you keep folding forwards? You might bend your knees a little bit, you might not need to, but try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Dangle your arms, have a swing and a sway. You could have a little bounce up and down. Now, gorillas walk on their knuckles, so they use their knuckles on the ground to help them to walk. So you could pu push your knuckles onto the floor and have a little bounce around. You could bounce side to side, past one foot, past the other foot and then I wonder see if you can see me do this can you get your fingers if you lift your toes can you hook your fingers just underneath your toes and see if you can straighten your legs and see if you can stay here and stretch all of the backs of your legs maybe for another count of five in your head slowly uncurl your body and have a little shake. So that was two animals helping us with our brain bomb energizer and the third one is an elephant and we're going to do an elephant breath. So we're going to stand with our legs fairly wide apart like sort of stompy elephant feet okay um, and to begin with uh, we're going to make our elephant trunk so we're going to put our hands together and clasp them together to make an elephant's trunk and if you just swing your arms forward like when we were just being with a gorilla you just swing your arms a little bit and you can just bend your knees slightly and see if you can do some elephant stomping so lift one foot stomp it down lift a foot stomp it down but you're sort of bending forward your your arms or your trunk are near the floor so stomp stomp T tipping to the side that's it Okay, so now keep your feet quite wide apart, get your legs fairly straight and bend a little bit, but fairly straight. And now use your imagination. So imagine that there is a whole big 
puddle or pool of water on the floor. And what do elephants like to do? They like to squirt water. So we're going to do an elephant breath by breathing in and sucking up the water on the floor, going all the way up to standing. And then imagine we're an elephant and we're going to whoosh, spray water on everybody in front of us. Okay, so getting your knuckles near the floor, with your legs fairly straight if you can, and we're going to just breathe in with our nose and, and then stand up. So you've sucked up your water and then a big breath out through your mouth. You can even swing your arms down between your legs. So it's a real kind of this sort of movement, like a release and try and keep your legs straight if you can. Okay, so we're going to just suck up the water again all the way up and then whoosh, spray everybody if you want to breathe in with your mouth you can okay make more of a slurping noise so whoosh, all the way up and then whoosh. we're going to do one more but if you you can do as many as you want until you feel ready energized and ready for learning but we'll do one more together are you ready sucking up all that water from the puddle all the way up to the top and a big letting all that air out and squirting your water on everybody that's the end of our brain bomb i hope it helps you to go and be ready for doing something exciting now and i'll see you again next time bye